guys, it's been a while since we've done a single eyeshadow review, and I've been meaning to do this one for quite some time. This is by a brand called Dirty Little Secret, and the shade that I'm doing today is called Sangria. So I looked this up, the singles go for 12 bucks, which that's like about on par with Colourpop, just saying, so <laughs> a little spendy, but... You know what you gotta do sometimes, you know? I didn't pay that for it, I got this in an Ipsy bag, so... Anyway, Sangria is this beautiful, like, shimmery maroon shade, which I really like. So I already put down some primer, so I don't have to worry about doing that. I will go ahead and swatch it for you guys first. Woo! Yeah! See, it's got good carry to it, so... Anyways, I'm going to go ahead here, just dip my brush in, got a lot of pigment, so I'm trying to be a bit careful here, and start out with my stamping method, it's hard to do using the viewfinder instead of a mirror, I thought we discussed this that I wasn't going to do that anymore, but here we are. Let's layer up again. Got a really nice, super vibrant, pigmented look going on here. We can go in with my blendy brush. Like I said, it carries very well. When I go to do the mascara, I might go in with a crease shade too, but for now just getting the main color down. I might go in a little heavier on the outer corner. So about the midway point. Okay. Do the other side. Figure from putting it on before work anyway. May as well actually make this damn video that I've been procrastinating doing for months. It's literally been sitting on my bathroom counter as a reminder to do it for months, guys. I think I set it out there in, like, May. <laughs> uh, I've worn it since then, but I didn't get around to making said video, so... Finally doing that now, today, in September. <laughs> Who knows how long it'll be before this goes up, but yeah, so we'll do one more layer to even it up and then the outer corner again. I'm also going to go in with a highlighter over the top, so everything that's way up here will get blended into that. So, yeah, it looks uneven and fucked up right now, but it's going to be fine. You'll see. <laughs> it always is. So, okay, that outer corner pop up. Yeah, so even just on its own, it's really pretty. I'm actually going to add a little more over here just so I can carry it up a little further so it's not quite so uneven between the two sides. Even though I am gonna be putting the highlighter up in there too plus the crease shade so yeah it's, it's a start it's a start so <laughs> let me go ahead and do that maybe once I have like an actual mirror to work with I'll make things a little easier, but especially with the red hair, I'm like, ooh, I think this is the first time I've worn it since I dyed my hair. So I'm like, ooh, all right, that kind of pops. I like it. But yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so not the world's finest application, but it'll do. It's totally fine and passable. So 
I like it. I think it's very blendy. It's very velvety, very creamy. Um, like I said, it's actually very comparable to that of ColourPop, so given it's on about the same price point, I shouldn't be that surprised, really, but anyways, I like it. Unfortunately, they only offer nine shades, at least in singles. I didn't look to see palettes or anything with them since I wasn't shopping. I literally was just trying to price this out for this video, but um, yeah, they've got like nine shades, and they're all like reds, pinks, golds. <laughs> so it's a very select color palette. I don't know if at some point they had more than that. I don't know if they're looking to expand into more. I don't know. I really have never ever heard of this brand outside of this product before, so I don't know. But I would say it's a really nice shadow, and I highly recommend it. I personally give it a 4 out of a 5 rating. The only reason I don't give it a 5 out of a 5 is that the fallout is kind of bad from this one. No matter how careful I am, it just, it's a thing. It's a thing. Some shadows are worse, or, uh, worse or, <laughs> some shadows are worse than others with that, uh, and this one unfortunately is a worse offender. But that one detail aside, I love everything else about it. So, anyways. That's it from me for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, see ya.